So I mentioned in uh, my New Year's video that I did face and body painting, and I just wanted to show you guys a few photos as I talk here. They'll pop up over here and over right here. Let me just tell you a couple little things. I know some of you won't be able to make it out to the convention, so I might as well just get it out of the way in a video here, and that's why I'm doing this video. So, uh, the funny thing is, I hate it when I go out to festivals, events, and I'm doing my work there, and my signs are placed. I have a nice tent, 10 by 10 tent. I have a couple tables. I have a nice director's chair that I use to sit the kids in and the adult, and I have everything professional. I actually use uh, my touch screen computer instead of using pictures posted on a board so that it's a little bit more interactive for people. Well, you know, you get some of those people that say, oh, that's a God-given talent. You do such a great job and Jesus loves you. You should see some of the faces of some of the other Christians in line. It's just ridiculous. Well, you know, in my line of business, I have to keep politics and religion out of doing my face and body art. I cannot talk about what I want to talk about at the time. I don't want to confront these issues. I cannot confront these issues while I'm doing my job. Why? It hurts my business. The reason it hurts my business is people don't want to hear about this when I'm doing my job. Now, I have kind of slipped a few times, and I know that's a bad thing. Well, you're going to slip up in your job once in a while. But I also try to make sure that when I do my slip ups, it is during a time when I am slow, when I'm not that busy and there's not a lot of people around. I do get into some religious and political discussions only when I'm not doing my job. I really shouldn't be doing that either because there are people that are wandering around that hear what I say. But here's the thing. I don't say anything that's offensive. I tell it like it is. I tell the truth. And if they can't handle it, that's fine. I get enough out of people in line complaining about standing for an hour for their child to get their face painted or for them to get their face painted. And I'm like, you know, I just want to turn around and say, well, I've been here for nine what's your complaint but you know things like that happen and especially around election time people want to talk about politics and I try to say you know let's not talk about that talk about something else you know uh, what, what's your favorite music what's a good restaurant around here especially if I'm out of town that's a good thing to ask but having to deal with religious nuts and I have done my fair share of churches I've done my fair share of church picnics Christmas parties you know where they have prayer at the beginning of the you know dinners and stuff like that I just grin and bear it why because I I have to. There's no other way I can actually describe it. I have done my fair share of Christian face paintings and body art and stuff, and why? Even though I hate religion, I will still do my job. If they're willing to pay for it, I'm willing to paint it, no matter what it is. And I've done really ornate crosses, and I've done some other things, and I'll, you know, those pictures will pop up, you know, on either side, if I can get my fingers right. You just have to learn to deal with it in the real world when you're doing your business. I have nothing that, you know, I'm not going to go on the route where people say, oh, you should say face painting for Jesus, you'll make more money. Why? I'm not a preacher. I'm, I'm not somebody out there to scam people and take their money. I'm there to provide a service for them, an artistic service, something a little bit different. Some people like it, some people don't. You know, I get parents that come up and they look at a face, oh, you can't get that one. That one's demonic. And I'm asking them, how is it demonic? It's a skull. I said, ma'am, if we removed your skin, what would be underneath it? Duh. I said, unless I put fangs on it with blood dripping and, you know, put a 666 on the forehead, it wouldn't be demonic. They don't get that. You know, they would rather go for, and this is what the funny thing, they would rather go for a pink unicorn on their little girl's face than for her to get a pink skull. Don't ask your kids. Pick whatever you want and then, you know, just pick for them instead. But, you know, I try to keep politics and religion out of everything I do with my business. But yeah, my face painting and body painting is for everybody. Not just atheists, not just Christians, not just Muslims, not just Latinos, blacks, white. It's for everybody of every age. Nobody is too old for it. Nobody is too young for it. If you want it done, get it done. Live a little. Have some fun. Other than that, for you theists out there, get a clue and get an education.